guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a good old fashioned favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I wanted to just kind of update you guys on some things that I'm really loving right now and just do a little chit chatting with you guys. Disclaimer, the inner corner of this lash has been wonky since I put it on, so if it starts going awry, you guys have to tell me. Like, comment down below and I'll see it live as I'm filming the video. That's not how, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Before we get into this video, please give it a big thumbs up if you like favorites videos and finding out about new products. And these are, of course, all gonna be cruelty free because that's what I do on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and smash that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. First, let's talk about hair. I know I never do hair recommendations on my videos and that's mainly because like, I'm kind of boring. I do the same sort of thing with my hair all the time. I don't like blow drying it. So like, I will just put it in braids to dry and then it looks like this for a few days and then I'll curl it after that and then you know wash rinse repeat the whole nine yards but when I went to Gen Beauty we were given something in our little goodie bags that I became freaking obsessed with to the point that I emailed the brand and said hey I'm freaking obsessed with this and they sent me a full size of it and now I'm really freaking obsessed with it this is the Eva NYC Queen Glitter Spray. And I think it's like queen because it's got several E's. Like I've talked about this before. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So I don't like the way regular hairsprays feel a lot of the time. They get your hair like kind of crunchy. And then I don't know about you, but a lot of times, like if I comb through it, I'll get those white flakes, which is just, I mean, that's just disgusting. This is a very, very, very light hold, but it still does give your hair some texture, if you will, and a little bit of hold but I mean, it's glitter. This has argon oil in it, so it's good for your hair. And just like, I mean, I've been using it obsessively. Like, I see no reason why I shouldn't have glitter hair right now. The bummer is that it's so hard to capture on camera, but it is the prettiest glitter ever. It just adds kind of like a little shimmer sparkle. It actually smells good. And what's also cool about this is that you can use it on your body. Okay, okay, I'm covered in glitter. I'm covered in glitter. Like I mentioned, they did send this to me, but these opinions are my own. I freaking love this product. It is really inexpensive. I'm gonna put the price right here on the screen and you can get it at Ulta. So, I mean, like win-win. Next, let's go into eyeshadows. So, I'm actually pretty surprised, but I've been playing a lot with the two eyeshadow palettes that I got from Bad Habit Beauty. So I did get the After Dark palette, which is the dupe for the Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions palette, and the Athena palette, which is the dupe for the Huda, Bo Huda Beauty Desert a Dusk palette. So here's the thing about these palettes. Are they the greatest palettes I've ever tried? They're not. A lot of the colors are powdery. They do take some more work, especially the really dark colors. A lot of times I'll pack it on and then I'll go to blend it out and it's gone. So then I have to pack more on and blend it out. But if you take your time with them, they are really decent palettes. And I, you know, I of course love the color schemes of both of these. They really do speak to me. The shimmers on both are really beautiful. And the lasting power of these is really good. I will put these on in the morning and then at night, they are still pretty much the same as when I put them on. So kudos to these. I do want to keep playing with them, but right now I'm really liking them and they have been in my regular rotation. Also, I couldn't make a favorites video without talking about, I mean, this, you guys. I am still madly head over heels in love with my Gemini palette. The love has not faded. It has only grown. These colors are so buttery and so pigmented. It, it's just, it's my dream palette. This is actually my dream palette. I am still so, so happy that I got this. Plus, I just checked, this is still available to buy. So I'm gonna link it down below along with everything else that I'm talking about. But if you haven't gotten the Gemini palette yet, if these kind of grungy tones do it for you, you need to get it. I know it's expensive. It's $58 worth every penny. I am not lying to you. It's, oh God, I love this palette. Then there's a product that I so didn't expect to even really like, and I wound up loving it so much. This is the Pixi Liquid Fairy Lights and I have the color Passion Light. It is the only one that I have and it was something I was given at Gen Beauty. And these are supposed to be kind of similar to all of the Stila Glitter and Glow, Magnificent Metals, that sort of formula. I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I like these better than the Stila formula. So the Stila ones are $24 each. These are $15 each. And let me tell you why I think these are better. The Stila ones are so beautiful, but some of the more glittery formulas that Stila has have a tendency to put some fallout all over your face. And I'm just, 
it, it's funny because my name is Glitter Fallout on this channel, but I'm not into Glitter Fallout. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it all over my face. I don't want a bukkake scene happening. Kids, please don't Google bukkake. So these are beautifully shimmery and glittery. And what's cool is that they are also buildable to complete opacity. I just love these. They go on so creamy and just so beautifully. Like, do you see the glitter in there? Oh my God, so pretty. I can't stop staring at it. One of my big go-tos has just been putting like a light brown kind of as a wash in the crease and then putting this all over the lid and I've gotten so many compliments on it, you guys. Plus, the glitter doesn't fall down and it stays put. The glitter looks the same. Okay, so I wore this to an event recently where I was running around like a freaking crazy person sweating my face off. My foundation didn't look so hot by the end of the night. My concealer, oh, it wasn't even there by the end of the night. This stuff was still there by the end of the night. I got compliments on this after 10 hours of wear. My favorite part also, they're easy enough to remove. They don't scratch your eyelids. I know sometimes when I wear glitter on my eyes, if I don't take it off gently enough, I can feel like it scratches my eyelids. This, no matter what I could do, I could sit there and I could take like a chisel and just start chipping away at it and it wouldn't scratch my eyelids. Just don't put a chisel anywhere near your eyes. Why am I doing this? I am on a platform. Let's move on to cheeks and let's stay with Pixie. I have this blush in Beach Rose and it is just, it's kind of my perfect color of blush. Now my preferred color is always this kind of like browny color. I don't know, this brown peach color really does it for me. I'm wearing it today. I love these blushes. They're ones that you have to be a little bit patient with because they are very pigmented. So if you put it on your brush and you don't tap it off, you're just gonna have a spot of color that's a little difficult to blend out. But dip in gently, take your time. You can always build this up and and this builds up beautifully, but I really do love this blush. As far as highlighter, I have this new child that I've been putting into like a crib every night and taking pictures of and sending it to friends and family and that's the Ofra Glow Up palette. This is something I bought at Gen Beauty because it was on sale and it is, um, it's the highlighter palette of my dreams. <laughs> With this palette, first of all, these are all removable so you can replace them, but every single color has worked so beautifully for me. And I think that genuinely, a lot of these would work on many skin tones, which is really cool. Like, for me, I just like to swirl them all. Like sometimes I dip into all four pans and just go ham. So, I mean, I don't know, should I put more on? <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and swirl all four of these. And this is my Moda Pro 265 brush, and this is my favorite highlighting brush right now. It is absolutely amazing, so I guess this is a favorite too. It's really good for just like buffing that. Look at it. Oh God, I can't stop staring. This is just a great brush for buffing the color in, and it also kind of breaks up the crystal-y pearls. I don't know the official phrase, but it breaks up the pigment enough that it comes out beautifully, oh my god. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely necessary. This should go on all of your holiday wish lists. As far as face sprays, I have an old favorite and new favorite. The old favorite is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. I used to love this, and then when I ran out, I just never repurchased it, but I recently did again because I was in store, my face felt dry, and I was just like, oh, I'll just take a hit of this. And I love it. I love it so much. If you don't like the smell of coconut, you will not like this. Uh, a lot of people also don't like this because I will admit it has a rather aggressive spray to it. I don't care because I love the feeling of face sprays. A lot of people hate that. I love, love, love it. So I really enjoy this one. My new favorite that is not a new product, it's just new to me. You guys were suggesting it to me for so long and I didn't listen and it's the Pixie Glow Mist. First of all, I, I just wanna say like, I know that this is the third Pixie product I've had in here. I bought this with my own money at Target. This is amazing. Now look, you can see it's like worn off and I've used this much already. The mist is so fine. It's in my mouth. It just makes your skin glow. It is beautiful, beautiful. Really love this. Pixie is a fantastic, drugstore, cruelty-free brand. I'm really just getting into them and I can't wait to see what else they have. I'm only gonna do one lip product today and that is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Ball Harbor. 
This color is a fantastic nude for me. It's a beautiful kind of dusty rose. I feel like I use the phrase dusty rose a lot on my channel, but whatever. It's a dusty rose color. It's got that kind of brown undertone, but with that pink and that nude color, it's just, it's lovely. I really enjoy this. Plus, the formula of Ofra Liquid Lipsticks, if you haven't tried them yet, are absolutely beautiful. They don't dry down to the point of cracking on your lips. Like, they don't feel too drying. You, They're not completely 150% transfer proof because they do have that element in it that keeps your lips moisturized but I don't even care the color still stays on your lips for a long time but if you got a glass or something you might see a little something something on the glass that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know if you've tried any of these products or if any of them are ones you love if any of them are ones you hate tell me that too except just not if it's glitter things because I just want all the glitter things let me have my glitter in peace. You ready for the cutest little thing you've ever seen? So this little guy came in a set of four sponges that I got from Moda Brushes and I didn't think I would like any of these. Like I thought they'd be too hard and I really do like the other sponges, but this one in particular, this little tiny baby face is my angel. This is the most perfect little sponge for getting really deep into the corner to really pat out your concealer. And also I like taking my concealer over the lid. So I use this kind of like soft domed end to pat it all over my lid. It is so soft and the contours of it are so fantastic. If you're into cream contouring with your nose, I feel like this would be amazing because of this little dip and it would contour right on the arch of your nose, but whatever. I love this little, 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 little man. I don't know if you can buy this separately or if you have to buy the set, but I will put the link down below to show you guys if you can buy it separately, I'll let you know. But I love this little guy and he is just so soft and he also like really bounces back. Sometimes with a lot of the cheap sponges, you know, if you squish it, it doesn't bounce back or it's hard as a rock. This is neither, this is lovely and it is beautiful. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all glitter fallout. You are super rock stars and I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.